Welcome to another episode of Faith Explorations, the podcast where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. I'm your host, Kenneth Garcia. In episode 102, we're unwrapping the divine gifts bestowed upon us by God, exploring how to use them for His glory. So grab your metaphorical gift wrap and let's get started. But our exploration doesn't end here. For more insights that can enrich your journey of faith, be sure to visit us at BibleKeeper.com. So without further ado, let's dive in. Gift giving has deep roots in biblical tradition, and it goes beyond festive occasions. In Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 and Esther chapter 9 verse 22, we see examples of celebrations marked by gifts. But what sets apart the divine gifts from the ordinary? Human generosity, though well-intentioned, is often flawed and fleeting. The Bible teaches us that the Father of Lights provides gifts that are excellent and flawless. Today, we're unraveling these gifts from God and understanding how to utilize them for His glory. The Holy Spirit Before ascending to heaven, Jesus promised His followers the gift of the Holy Spirit. As Acts 1, verse 8 states, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. The Holy Spirit empowers us to be witnesses and draws us closer to God. Faith Faith, a gift crucial for salvation, is not just an action, but also a divine gift. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 reminds us, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Forgiveness Justification, synonymous with forgiveness, restores our relationship with God. Through faith in Jesus, we are pardoned, reconciled, and brought back into a proper relationship with the Creator. The Church Christ's sacrifice extends to the Church, emphasizing its importance. In Ephesians 5, verse 25, we learn that Jesus loved the Church and gave Himself for her, not for physical structures, but for the spiritual community. Heaven The Bible concludes with the promise of a new heaven and earth. Revelation chapter 21 verse 1 describes a new creation, underscoring God's ultimate gift of eternal life. Now, let's dive into the specific gifts of the Holy Spirit. These gifts, as outlined in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 8 to 10, include knowledge, wisdom, healing, faith, miracles, speaking in tongues, discerning spirits, prophecy, and interpreting languages. In Romans chapter 12 verse 6, Paul emphasizes that we each have different gifts. And in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, we're reminded that God's divine power equips us with everything we need for life and godliness. There's much debate about the nature and quantity of these spiritual gifts. Still, some commonly recognized ones include the gift of wisdom, knowledge, healing, miracles, prophecy, discerning spirits, interpreting tongues, administration, and helps. To further understand these gifts, let's explore some Bible verses 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 8 to 10 listing various spiritual gifts. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 highlighting eternal life as a free gift from God. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 describing the diverse roles and gifts in the church. James chapter 1 verse 17 acknowledging that every good gift comes from the Father. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 emphasizing the grace given to each believer. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8, referring to Christ's gifts to his people. Luke chapter 11 verse 13, Jesus assures that the Holy Spirit is a gift to those who ask. Romans chapter 12 verses 4 to 8, describing the diversity of gifts within the body of Christ. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10, encouraging the use of special gifts in service to others. Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 27 reminding us not to worry as God provides. In conclusion, when God offers a gift, it equips us for His commands. The Holy Spirit beckons us, and God desires us to experience His new creation. The key is faith, accepting the gift offered. As Romans chapter 11 verse 29 says, the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Faith Explorations. Remember, God's gifts are not just for us. They are meant to be shared and used for His glory. If you enjoyed today's discussion and want to explore more topics related to spirituality, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. 
make sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And visit us at BibleKeeper.com for more resources that will enrich your faith journey. Join us next time as we continue to explore matters of faith and spirituality. Until then, may God bless you abundantly.